<laughs> yes. I just got your email. Yeah. It's too small. I know. You used the big things. I saved you a conversation from that guy. So you're welcome. I know. We go big or go home. Go home. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Are you at work? Mm -hmm. I'm laying in bed right now. Why? Are you off or what's wrong with you? Just the morning. I had surgery in the afternoon. Oh, were you off yesterday too? Working on your Uh, project? I was working in South Beach yesterday. Oh, you sent me that picture. I thought you were home. Which picture? With your toy? Because you were working on your toy? Oh, no, no, that was, from the, that was from the weekend, my, my go-kart. Oh, uh, yeah, it's really cute, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, well, you're going to get a go-kart. I'm going to get a boat. You want to sit on my lap while I drive the go-kart around the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, that would be so much fun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, guys, you know how fucking jealous the neighbors would be? <laughs> it's actually really small, though. Like, the seat, I barely fit in the seat. The guy I bought it from was too small. He was a little guy. I was going to say, you're pretty tall. I thought it was for the kids. No, this is a professional go-kart. It'll do 100 miles an hour. Would you, um, would you just buy it? I mean, yeah, it, like exactly. secondhand? Well, yeah, I bought it, and I'm going to start uh, racing up in West Palm Motor Speedway. I want to go pro. I want to go pro. No, you don't. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I want to start. I'm starting, like, the club level. And this you is actually ha- funny. This is how all these like professional guys start as kids. They get these like uh, shifter carts. They call them. They go really fast. Oh, even on the track, you can get it up to about like, eighty-five on the track. Yeah, the track, no, I've got the little go kart ones. You what? I did like the little go kart ones where you just go around with little tracks with the tires and stuff, but not. Yours looks like it's legit. This is just fucking nasty. Nasty. Well, be careful. Yeah. Don't get all crazy. Careful. She looks like a penguin. Because of the way her dress looks, she looks. She's just helpless and cute. Well, then, well. Well, you saw what she was. I mean, she was like crying to you guys in the kitchen. Well, because one, I'm a good negotiator, and I make people feel comfortable. So. But tell me that wasn't like. If you were my boyfriend. That wasn't. You were my boyfriend, and you did that with me. It wouldn't be pretty. But that's, but that's the thing is you're too smart for me. Did you see how sweet she was in the kitchen? She's like, did she tell you did about you, Alyssa? You, did he tell you about <laughs> Alyssa too? I was like, yeah, I actually know everything. And then she was like, well, we, did you guys have sex uh, today or, you know, before? Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> and poor Iris was like. You, you think... No, not that you're too smart for you. I think we'd be good, not to date, but to raise a child. So you, so what do I get out of this? I have your child and my body is going to be destroyed. It's not going to be destroyed. We'll fuck all the time. We'll have a kid. I'll support you. And we'll live happily ever after. Well, I don't think I really, really, really want to get married. that. <laughs> Did Iris think I was cool, too? Yeah, she thought you were cool. <laughs> well, we tried, and then you guys all decided to get really messed up, both of you. I don't know why. It was just weird. Oh, fuck and, doesn't. and then I here I am cleaning, and then here comes the poor little June, and then I'm like, oh, God, no, what is going on here? And then Iris <laughs> steals the Ben and Jerry's. No response. And that's why when I saw her at Hooters, I'm like, I didn't actually didn't even expect her to work that day. Because I even said to her, I'm like, dude, you never work Wednesdays. And she's like, mm-hmm. then okay. now I get a text from her, like, all you want to do is, like, settle down. And I'm like, make up your fucking mind. <laughs> like, she's like, you want to settle down and have a family, so I don't think I'm ready for you. Then the other text was, all you want to do is fuck, 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 fuck. I'm like, you're dumb. <laughs> you are dumb. So, okay, but do you still have interest in her or what? I wanted to get to know her. I mean, I thought she was incredibly cute. Um, and I did have fun when I hung out with her. 
And I do like the fact that, listen, some people like older men, some people like older girls, some people like younger girls. Like, you know, I like the fact that she's very, that she was very young. She was 19 when we fought. Even though she's 20, I'm still okay with it. Painful. So, but that's just kind of stupid, and then you're looking at all the wrong places. And I'm still single. Uh, and that's going to be your problem until you're 45. And then I'll settle down. We'll settle, settle down, down together. Who? We will. We will. You're gonna, no, you're going to come visit me on my, in, my, uh, in my little house, waterfront house. The balcony and paddleboard with Zoe, and then you <laughs> just come over by appointment. And I take, and I just fuck the shit out of you. But that's all you want to do. Make up your mind. Do you want to uh, settle down? Do you want to? Then I went to the beach. I drank a Bloody Mary, and there was a fucking storm that had just come off the Atlantic, so it like sucked mm-hmm. all the humidity out. So there was like no humidity and fucking huge swells coming in. And I wow. drank my Bloody Mary. And I ran into the ocean like a little kid and I was fucking body surfing and like swimming and the waves were so perfect that I was like gently being pushed to the shore. Like I was getting like 80 foot rides on the waves. After the girl moved out. Yeah. And it was just all the same day. I literally I put my flip flops on. She was moving out. I went to the beach and like it was that dry air and my neighbors mm-hmm. had just cut the grass. So I smelt the grass and there were birds chirping to. Um, and he's coming in June. He's going to do mm-hmm. anesthesiology at Jackson. Mm-hmm. He's doing his uh, residency. Mm-hmm. Anesthesiologist, and he's coming in June. He's going to live in one of the bedrooms upstairs. You can live in the other. How old is your... He's 28. Oh, the perfect age for me because I've got younger boys now. I know you do. You can't do it the older. Mama, older Mama has to... Mama has, Mama has to stay young. Mama has to stay young. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm Mama's very particular. Mama's I'm going back in- to the frat house at UM. <laughs> you know what you should do? Good. You should just apply for your house job as the frat mother. That's Ferrari. That turned me off of me not liking you. I was like, to every day. I know. It's like the douchebag driving the Ferrari. The... Well, kind of, that I mean, that just made me feel really uncomfortable when you told me how much it cost on our first night. And I'm like, oh, he's one of those. But then I didn't he, tell you what it came, cost. I said I got a great deal yeah, on it. No, you were like, it's $40 million. I mean, is that, how would I get that price? And I was just like, oh, my God, he's one of those. I, you know, how that work? No. This is a, <laughs> limited, this is a limited offering. Well, do this in June because you can wear your smart baby. Uh, and, um, my kids are going to be wearing Velcro shoes. <laughs> they will. My kids are going to be wearing Velcro shoes to high school because they don't tie knots. Don't do this to me. Just... I'll help you out. I want a smart kid. Get over here now. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I tell your mom this conversation? She would die. Uh. I will, I will do it so, so good to you. Well, Charlie, let's, let's talk about this. Our chemistry is not that great in bed, by the way. Not, it's, you can be a little sexier for me. Or, what? You know. Yeah, because you, you're like, kind of like aggressive type of, um, I don't know, like you can, like you just put it in and just kind of go to town and talk about yourself. And I mean, which, I mean, I guess that's for you, but, I like it a little bit more like tying and passion and that kind of stuff. Oh, I'll handcuff you next time. No, you don't have to. You can use my boxing gloves, um, leather gloves with the straps that I have. I've used them recently. So. He tied you up? No, I, I just told you that I hooked up with him for the first time. But, you know, you got a lot of distractions going on with June and Cat and stuff, but I'd be more than happy to help you to redeem the cat back or go in there and tell her, like, shake the shit out of her and tell her that you're the man that you want to get to know. And then we can go to a sorority house and then we can recruit some girls there, too, if you want. That would be fun. Tell them that I'm your roommate for real. 
and uh, we'll just be old people like chasing down, you know, little kids. Like this. <sighs> when are you moving in? <laughs> you can live in my house for free with Zoe. Like we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have pool parties. We're gonna have go karts. You could drive the cars. You could take my boat. You could put your fucking paddleboard in my backyard. Like rent free, nigga. You want to be impregnated? You're just gonna walk downstairs and you're gonna be like, okay, big daddy. What the fuck? Is <laughs> have you ever done that? No. <laughs> See, I've just found something you haven't done and I haven't done. Can't you try it on your little girls? Do it, hey. Just do it to June, and then she'll give you buy me a Louie after you did that, and then she's going to trap you into you, oh, baby. I got her a Louie. Are you on the pill?